Okay, I was trying to hold it together. So, Latage Dejali, that was amazing. You know, thank you so much. Um, Khadija, your life. Um, vibrant and alive and beautiful. It's like what makes everybody so deeply moved about uh, the power of arts, the power of our young people, and the possibilities of this city today. So thank you. I feel wholly, wholly undeserving. Um, but I just want to open up by thanking everyone in this room, the artists and the dreamers, the rebels and the believers whose works tear down patriarchy, who strike fear in the heart of those who would take away our public goods for privatization, um, who, would, uh, who would take on white supremacists and those who hate us for our religion. Um, thank you so much. I, um, I come to you as a daughter of immigrants who today live in a nation that would deport at rates that we have never seen. Um, a mother of three children in a city which still labors to bring its schools back from the brink. I come to you as thus a hard-charging, rabble-rousing, very impolite community organizer. <laughs> in a city that is struggling mightily for racial and economic justice and we haven't gotten it right. Um, but I also think about the places in which we build hope and community and the places in which we restore our faith and our sense of possibility. And I think about the places where we come home, um, the places and spaces of rooms like this where we celebrate our arts, where we love us for ourselves, for our language, for our culture, for our religion, for our way of dress, for our way of being. Um, and that's what it means to be truly whole. Um, it is extraordinarily difficult to think about how powerful that uh, the full humanity of our arts can be in a city where more than um, one in four schools even lacks a music program, where we struggle to see arts and music in the communities which desire it the most, where we can see and guarantee that our children will get a metal detector, a you know, s police officer, and surveillance cameras before they'll ever touch a drum, pick up a flute, um, dance to their heart's content, sing and stomp their way to a different way of being and a different view of this nation. But every time I think about what that's, uh, how we're going to change this broken and confusing and chaotic world that we're in, we know that we can do it when we look at our young people. When we look at the fact that they can look at this broken world and say, not me, not this time, and I'm not waiting. Um, for all of the folks who disguised cowardice as wisdom, who thought about or waited on the sidelines, not our young people. Um, they're taking on the hardest problems that our country faces and doing it with the fearless sense of beauty and joy and possibility that youth brings. Um, I think deeply about how much that means today. My father came to this country as an immigrant with almost nothing in his pockets. He renamed himself Juan Golden Gim because he believed so much in the hope of this nation. And uh, not even just last month, uh, this country removed the term nation of immigrants from the mission statement of the U.S. Immigration Department. So we have to get what it means to be political, that it's not just about candidates and elections and electoral politics in November and May. It's what happens every day in our lives, that life is political for so many of us. Art becomes thus political for so many of us. Um, that I have to give a special message to our women and girls especially, that your voice, your beauty, your passion is vibrant and alive. It matters more than ever. Um, we need you more than ever. And that every day you wake up and your feet hit the floor, you do what every woman does um, every time they wake up which is go out and you fix this broken world. You do it for yourself, you do it for our families, we'll do it for our children, we'll do it for the ones we love. We'll repair, we'll think, we'll heal, we'll cry, we'll sob, we'll build, we'll think, we'll dance, um, and we'll hope. And so I wanna thank Artwell 
for the spaces you create to be able to do that with young people um, in a time when we really need to think about it so much, so deeply. Um, and I just, you know, I wanted to end with the words of someone who truly embodied what it meant to be a president, um, number 44. He wrote something very beautiful about the young people of uh, Parkland, Florida in a recent uh, essay that he did. But to our youth, um, you have the power so often inherent in our youth to see the world anew, to reject the old constraints and the outdated conversations, uh, the cowardice that's so often dressed up as wisdom, the power to insist and demand that America can be better. So thank you, Artwell, for making that possible. Thank you to our young people. You give us life and hope every day. Um, and thank you to everyone in this room who supports Artwell and all the organizations that do the same. Thank you. Yeah.